Feeling hypnotized by the words that I just said Don't lie to me, just lie in my head The bell at the door of the convenience store you were working sounded, indicating that a customer had entered. Good afternoon, you words cut after seeing a guy rushing inside and high near the freezer. What are you doing? He looked at you. He stood up and quickly moved to hide at the counter area. E Excuse me, you're not allowed in this area. Get out or I will call the police. I I'm not a bad person. Please, let me hide here. Even just five minutes. Someone is chasing me. I'm certain they will kill me if they find me. You can tell that he is telling the truth. You know the feeling of hiding from someone. You always do that to the people your dad's indebted. Fine, but just five minutes. Later on, you saw a group of girls pass by the store. It looks like they're looking for someone. That's how you met Jimin. He was hiding but not in the bad people. Instead, he is hiding in his girlfriend's cause Jimin is a playboy. Even though he is a playboy, he is nice to you. He is always there when you need someone to rely on. So you two became good friends. You are Kang YN, an orphan. After your mom died at the age of 10, your dad were the one who raised you alone. But he often left you because he became addicted to gambling. So you learn to work at your early age so you can eat since your dad usually only comes home every week. Even if he gives you money, it's not enough for your school and daily expenses. At the age of 20, your dad passed away due to cardiac arrest. What you don't know, he left a lot of debt and now you are being charged by those people so you move to another place. You escape from other people but not from the loan shark that your dad owned. That's why you are working multiple jobs to pay them. One month after you moved, you met Jimin. He is the only child of a rich couple, so it's not surprising if he's a spoiled brat. Jimin has a best friend named Jungkook, the grandson of one of the richest businessmen in the country. His grandpa gets sick and every day his condition is getting worse. Grandpa wished before he died he could able to see his granddaughter who was missing 15 years ago due to an accident. They are searching for her for a long time but they really can't find her. Jungkook feels bad for his grandpa so he also helps him searching her. When Jimin found out about that he also offered for help. The moment Jimin saw the picture of Jungkook's aunt, he was really surprised because she looks like you. So he told Jungkook about you. He thought you are the daughter of her aunt because of your resemblance. I'm not the one who are looking for. The word came out from your mouth. That time Jungkook asked you if you are his cousin. However, he didn't believe you. Later on, the truth came out that you weren't really his cousin. He felt disappointed and devastated. He really thought it was you. Then one day, the doctor told him that his grandpa's condition is not good and at any time, he will be gone. At that time, his mind was confused until he thought the idea of hiring you to act as his cousin. Jimmy and Jungkook talked to you, but you refused them. However, your decision changed after knowing the real situation of his grandpa. And since he is weak and he can't bear to talk, you agree without accepting the money. You go there to the hospital. You hug the old man. You also told him, Grandpa, I'm already here. Don't worry, I'm okay. You only spend 10 minutes in the ICU since you can't stay there for long. After one week, you just finish your job at the restaurant as a waitress. When you get out of the restaurant, you saw a familiar face. It's Jungkook leaning against his car. It looks like he was waiting for someone else. The moment he saw you, he smiles. Are you waiting for someone? I 
was waiting for you. How did you know that I'm working here? I asked Jimin. Can we talk? Sure. There's a park nearby where we can talk. As you walk together, going there. Both of you sat on the bench while feeling awkward for each other. No one wants to talk. Mm, by the way, how is your grandfather? You decided to break the silence. Actually, he is the reason why I want to talk to you. My grandfather woke up and his condition gradually improved. The doctor said after you visited him, a miracle happened. He suddenly get better. That's great! I'm glad he's getting better now. But why am? Grandpa is looking for you. M me? Mm. He wants to see you. Can you continue pretending to be Melissa? So that Grandpa's recovery continues. You're speechless. You don't know what to answer. Of course, you are afraid of possible happen if you ever agree. I will pay you. Just name the price. I really need the money, but I'm afraid to do it. What if your grandpa will know that I'm not really your cousin? That won't happen. I will find the real Melissa right away. Then someone sat next to you. It's Jimin. Don't worry, I will help you so you don't get caught. With the money that Jungkook will pay you, you will be able to pay off the loan shark. You won't hide from them and be afraid that they might sell you. How did you know that? Jimin shrugged his shoulder instead. This lately he noticed a group of guys always tailing you. He also sees the fear on your face. So he asked one of them. After Jimin found out the truth, he asked you if you need the money because he was willing to help you but you refused it. Then, what I need to do? Jungkook made up as a story that you live in Hong Kong since your adopted parents live there. Your parents love you so much and you live comfortable life. Jungkook did that so his grandfather wouldn't feel guilty and worry for you and since your parents and your work are there on hong kong you can't stay long in korea you just went there to visit your grandpa after knowing his condition from jungkook on that way you won't last long to pretend to be melissa the problem is grandpa wants you to stay with him for a while he wants to talk to your adopted parents so he can explain that he wants to be with you. And since all your story is just a lie, you don't have adopted parents and you don't live in Hong Kong, in fear of being caught by Jungkook's grandpa, you just agree to stay with him and live in the same house with him. So you don't get confused, you still use your name YM. You just said that this is the name your adopted parents gave you after they got you from the orphanage. Jungkook also faked your DNA so the old man wouldn't get suspicious and added the fact that you look like Jungkook's aunt. So the old man really believed that you are Melissa. You were having breakfast together with Jungkook and Grandpa when Jimin came. I'm here again, he said. You're nice, Jimin, Grandpa replied. He sat next to you, as you two looking at each other as if pushing it who would speak. Do you have something to say? Grandpa, can I invite YN to go to ice skiing resort? Ice skiing? You want to go YN? Can I, Grandpa? Sure, my dear. Jimin, take care of my granddaughter. I'm glad that YN became close to you, Jimin, in such a period of time. 
Actually, Grandpa, we have known each other for a long time. She saved me from the girls chasing me. She let me hide in the store where she was working. We look at each other after Jimin slipped his tongue. She works in the store? I mean, I was in Hong Kong that time. I was chased by the girls, so I hide on the store where Ryan is currently shopping. That's how we met. Grandpa, remember Jimin helped me to find YM? Oh, I see. You three look at each other and felt relieved after Grandpa believed on Jimin's lie. Grandpa, do you know who are those people who's chasing him? His girlfriends! Grandpa, that's old me. I've changed because of someone. Since it's weekend, Jungkook was only at home. Later on, he saw you coming downstairs, only wearing a thin clothes. YN, it is snowing outside, and that's all you're wearing? Go to my room and get a thick jacket there. Tomorrow, we'll go shopping, he said and went back on scrolling his phone, while you go back upstairs to go to his room. You were amazed at what you saw. Wow, it's like I'm in a mall. It's so hard to choose. You're busy bubbling when someone stands on your back. You flinch and accidentally lean on Jungkook's chest. At that moment, your eyes met. You're just looking for a moment, but after a second, you stood up straight and moved back to distance yourself from him. You just bite your lips while watching him silently take a jacket and put it on you. Call me if there's a problem. Even though he is my best friend, still, Jimin is a guy, so be careful. Don't come home late. It's dangerous on the road because of snow. Mm. Thank you. Go now. He's waiting for you. After you and Jimin left, Grandpa sat across from Jungkook. It's been three months since Ryan stayed with us. Do you think her adopted parents are not mad at me? Don't worry, Grandpa. Ryan already talked to them. I'm glad to hear that. By the way, do you think those two like each other? They are just friends, Grandpa. He said in high-pitched tone. Why are you angry? I'm just asking because if they like each other, I want Ryan to marry Jimmy. Jingo got even angrier and stood up. Grandpa, would you please just let her choose the man she likes? And one more thing, my decision won't change. I don't want to marry Brittany. You can't do that. You should marry her. In Jungkook's anger at his grandpa for decision-making on his future, he answered, Then why don't you marry her instead? Jungkook's grandpa is known to be strict and heartless person. Jungkook's parents got divorced because grandpa was angry with Jungkook's dad because he is poor. Jungkook's mom moved to another place to avoid her dad since he fought every day. However, she can't bring Jungkook with her because Grandpa uses power to get Jungkook. He wanted Jungkook to inherit and run the business. The same thing happened to the parents of Melissa. Grandpa against his son's relationship with the daughter of their maid. But his son felt his love. He left the house and married Melissa's mom. But tragic happened. The whole family involved in a car crash. While Melissa is just five years old, her parents died, and until now, she is missing. Meanwhile, Jimin and you are having fun together while skiing. Are you happy? You smile and say, Oh, you? Of course, cause you are with me. Shh, Jimin, don't me. As you heard him giggling, but later on, he feels sad. 
he likes you, but he can't tell you his feelings because he knows you won't believe him because you know he is a playboy. What are you doing? Faster! Coming! Your enjoyment stopped when the snow started to fall. It was dangerous to continue in skiing, so you just too decided to go back to the resort. Due to Jungkook's anger at his grandfather, he went upstairs and locked himself in his room. Later on, he fell asleep without realizing. It's around 5 in the afternoon when he woke up. The first thing he immediately noticed was his snowing outside. He went down to the living room to look for you. Unfortunately, you wasn't home yet. He took his phone and called you, but you cannot be rich, even Jimin. After a few attempts, finally, he successfully reached you. His first question to you is, Are you okay? Yes, we're okay. But Junko, I don't think we can go home tonight. Many roads are already closed due to snow. Don't tell me you and Jamin will sleep in a hotel? You're not able to answer him because your phone lost its connection. Because of the bad weather, the signal is also affected. Why am? Why am answer me? Hush! He called you again, but your phone was no signal. You walk back and forth. He was restless and anxious. His heart pounding so fast. Then suddenly, he took his coat and car key as he hurriedly went outside and rode his car. Four hours later, laughter can be heard throughout the hotel room where you and Jimin will stay while the snow is still heavy. Jimin is talking about how he was caught by his girlfriends the time you first met him. You laughed loudly when you found out that he was being beaten of those girls. Later on, you stopped laughing after hearing a knock. You look at each other and stood up to open the door. Both of you were surprised after seeing Jungkook standing outside the door. The moment he saw you, he immediately came and asked you, Aren't you hurt? Are you okay? You tilted confused. Why is there? But if you are confused, Jimin is even more confused. In his mind, Jungkook really risked his life to go there just to find out if you are okay, even though he knows you are not his real cousin. Jimin was just staring at him while figure out in Jungkook's action. We're fine. But how do you know that we're here? His skating resort was owned by his grandfather YM. Ah, uh, you came here to see me? Oh, I mean, no. Grandpa asked me something, then I found out that you are also here. Since you two are okay, then I'll go ahead. He said and walked going out. But it's snowing heavily. Never mind, I just stay here, he added as he went back inside and sat on the sofa. The next day, the snow stopped. After breakfast, you decided to go back to Seoul. You sat in the front next to Jimin. Bro, see you later. However, Jungkook opened the door where you were sitting and telling you to move to the back. Why? you ask. My tire was flat, so I'm going back to Seoul with you. Mr. Nam will take care of my car. So you have no choice but to move to the back. Bro, you're acting weird. What are you talking about, bro? It's Lord Jimin Shi. Another month passed by, and you're still pretending to be Melissa. Today, you're going to attend a party. Grandpa asked Jimin to be your escort tonight. It's the anniversary of one of Grandpa's hotel. Basically, he wants 
to introduce you as his granddaughter. However, he did not agree. Of course, you are not the real Melissa. Aside from that, you have no intention of their money. Being loved by them is enough. You just made an excuse that you want to raise their low profile and you are not used to such things. Good thing Grandpa listened to her request. You and Jungkook get out from your each room together and meet in the hallway. You look so beautiful with your dress, she said. Uh, thank you. You too. I look beautiful? Uh, no, I mean, you look great. You're going with Jimin? Oh, Grandpa asked him to be my date. Is Grandpa's coming? No, I will be his representative tonight. Why am? By any chance, do you like Jim? Grandpa cut his word. He's telling you to come down because Jimin is waiting for you. While going down the stairs, you notice Jimin just stand after saw you wearing a simple but yet elegant cocktail dress. Wow, you look so stunning, YN. Of course, she is my granddaughter. You two may go now. You two, Jungkook. Jungkook was silently watching Jimin skirting you. During the party, you leave the table where was Jimin is. His friends and him were just talking about business and expensive cars. You get bored so you go to the bar counter and ask for a glass of champagne. When your eyes landed on a beautiful girl pass on you. She looks like a model. You're really mesmerized by her beauty. Who she is? You ask yourself. She is Jungkook's fiancé. Jimin replied and asked you, what are you doing in there? Fiancé? Jungkook has fiancé? You got even more surprised when that girl had Jungkook and cling on his arms. While looking at them, you feel a tightness in your chest. You feel a great pain and jealous. You try to hold your tears but they fall on their own. The truth is, you already have fallen for Jungkook these past months. Without you knowing, Jimin noticed your eyes staring up. He looks at you as he saw you staring at Jungkook. Then he slowly realized that you have a feelings for him. Meanwhile, Jungkook removed his fiancé's hand on his arms. Who told you that you can touch me? As he gave her a death glare. Until he saw you staring at him from a distance. And the moment your eyes met, you quickly turned around. But he can't believe on what happened next. Jimin suddenly hugs you. Flashback a month ago after coming back from a skiing resort, after you enter the house, Jimin confronts Jungkook. Bro, do you have feelings for YM? Mm. The moment I saw YM, I know she has a special space in my heart. I love her. I change because I want to take care of YM. I will do everything so she will love me. So if I were you, just forget her. You can't make her happy. You will only hurt her. Remember, you already had a fiancé. Jungkook grated his teeth in so much anger and jealousy. But he can't do anything since you will be his cousin forever. Last month, he found out that the real Melissa were already dead. <laughs>